This is Take a Look. Here's what this becomes a musical because music has always been in my life and a major part of who I am. Growing up in the 60s and being exposed to first AM radio and the hits of the late 50s and early 60s and then the great FM radio with the great sound and the great artists that were producing uh, music in the late 60s. That was my time. And I wanted to be that. I mean, I wanted to be Mick Jagger. I wanted to be McCartney and Lennon. Uh -huh. Turn my face to the wall If she's gone, I can't go on Feeling I wanted to be Bob Dylan and, and I wanted to be the Four Tops <laughs> Motown, Smokey Robinson And what I did was I realized that I had a, I had a knack for imitating those voices. I could get the voices, I could interpret. Fortunately, I have a, a very wide range, is what they call, uh, where I can sing very low, or I can sing, you know, high notes, and I, I, when I was younger, when I was in college, I did a lot of musical theater. And I had little bands that, that you know, put together, but it was always second, to second place to my acting career. Um, because invariably I'd be asked to go off to do a movie and the band has to, you know, do something else while you're gone which is not nice, and I always felt guilty about it, and so I couldn't hold a band together, a group, a musical group, although it was always very good when we put it together. It's just that I would leave, and I wasn't able to do both. So recently, I've had more, a little more time, and my life is more stable. My personal life is stable, more, more so than at any point in my young life, in my career. And so I have more time to focus on the things that I love doing. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Mm -hmm. As well as getting involved with writing and producing film projects, which I'm doing now and hope to put out into the world in the next couple of years and also hopefully find a piece that I want to direct and make a directorial debut and I am somehow bringing music back into my life but up, up front and by performing in clubs, uh, the club that is my favorite place right now or the 1200 Club at the Sunset Marquee Hotel in West Hollywood. And people are starting to come out just to watch my show. Um, and it's mostly an acoustic show, but you know, plugged in. And I get to perform those favorite songs. I have songs, and I have songs with other people that I've collaborated on. I like performing other people's songs, my favorite artists. 
songs. And right now I'm, I'm getting the opportunity to do that because I think I'm getting past the point where people say, oh, you sing too? <laughs> or if I'm in a place and music comes on and I'll just sing along and they'll go, Why, what are you doing? You know, you're not a singer. And then they hear me sing. And it sounds like I'm patting myself on the back. But I am. I got to this age and this point in my life where I'm very happy. I have a great relationship. And I still have my mom and my brother. And I'm a very happy man. Well, your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the low light overthrew ya. She tied you to her kitchen chair. She broke the crowd. 